It's time. It's a new night. I don't know what day it is. Yes, I do. It's 27. It's chilly. I've got the heater on. And we're on to construct more of our weird puzzle box thing. So what I did after the last video, um, I had to take the um, wrench faced lizards and the little pieces out and put these little dealy bobs in because they serve as like they hold they, they are like clips to hold these pieces in. And so I did that. And then I did the exact same steps. So that was for the top side, right? If this is the box, that was for the top side. And then I did the same steps for each of the other two sides. So that's what I did last night. Exciting, but you weren't there for that. And everything went fine. So now we're moving on to step well, it actually says step one. Every page starts with step one. So who knows what steps this is. But this involves pieces of wood five, seven, and eight. So this is two and six. So it's not these. Put those over there. Move you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then here we have three. That's also not, oh goodness. We got so many pieces of wood to burn now. In some ways I wish I'd do this to my mom's because she has a thing that can burn wood. So here's five. What does it want from five? It wants these things, there's four of them. And then it wants these two things. Okay. All right. Oh, for goodness sake. Don't come up. Let's get the cutter. I did think to myself, you should go get that craft knife, Maria. But that was earlier when I was upstairs. That was a different Maria that had that thought. That Maria was way less lazy. Mm -hmm. This has a piece of toast that comes out of it. I think that piece of toast is not needed. We're going to set it aside just in case somebody wants toast later. So that's piece 26. This is piece 25. There's a quiz on that later. I will be checking. That's what I need from that. And then I need these up here. And they don't actually appear to be numbered, so that's a thing that's happening right now. <gasps> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-hmm, that's what we want. Thank you. So I got those. That's from five. Now we need seven. I remember you. Here, you are seven. Seven wants piece number 47. 47 has some duck bills on it. And then, oh, also, Also, all of these. Those are going to be a joy. We're going to have to cut these out. It doesn't sh 
Oh, it does. It do It did say that I had to cut those other pieces out that I, in fact, had to cut out. These pieces, it doesn't tell me I'm gonna have to cut them out. But they don't wanna come out. We're just doing nice gentle cuts. Oh, I see you there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I made cake today. It was um, pound cake and I put blueberries in it and it was the first time I tried doing that and yeah, I'm not gonna call it successful. I'm gonna say it was unsuccessful. The cake was still delicious, but, and I'm gonna eat the whole thing because there's no one to share it with. But what I did was I used some frozen wild blueberries and they are small and they stuck together and thus they kind of didn't I couldn't sprinkle them like I wanted to, so I basically just had a layer of blueberries that were all stuck together. And you can imagine that while that may be delicious, that is kind of not what I was going for. So, oh well. Okay, I got all those pieces out, so I have that's the pieces from five right here. These are the pieces from seven here. Now we need eight, we need one piece from eight. I think this is eight. Yep. And eight wants that piece, which is 30. I want this tool piece that it said is a tool and not a real piece. I just really want to cut this out of here. Oh, I see you. Mm, I got it. There's the tool piece. Okay, what piece was that? I said a number, 30. Okay, so then I take these two pieces. Twenty-five and twenty-six. Put them together to make a thing. <gasps> it broke. No, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Did they give me a... How can they not give me a thing of that? That has like a tiny little leg. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. God, I really hope it's gonna be okay. What are you telling me to grease? Okay, what is one showing us? Okay, one takes the square and 
puts these things here. That sounds good, doesn't it? That doesn't sound like you're breaking anything. Okay, that's it. Now two says to take these pieces and look at the bottom of the box and then they go like this. Okay, I like that. Wait, yeah, I think they're symmetrical. Well, I don't know if they're symmetrical now. Let's bang it with a hammer. We like that part. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Close enough. Good enough. Okay. That was the bottom. That was step two. Step three was this thing where, and then I broke one of the things. Step four is to take this bro right here like this. And then this goes... through here. And then, what pieces need wax? I'm at a loss here. This shows me waxing things that I don't, it's not clear what I'm waxing. It kind of looks like I'm waxing this whole part up here. Let's just wax everything. It's fine. All over. Just a nice, nice, light coating of wax. Maybe extra up where we think it's actually supposed to go. And then here, it shows it on here. And also on this whole face. Come on. Remember, don't use a lighted candle. 
or a lit candle for this. So now this is like this, this goes on here. Now we have this piece. This is looking like a lock. Okay. Now we need page seven. And by page, I mean a piece of wood. Oh, there were these. Who knows where these came from? I just hit my elbow on something and I thought, what the heck is that? And it, uh, spoiler it was a hammer okay here's page seven and we need these bros here three of them that was not it that in fact looks like a tumbler you know like a lock tumbler not like a glass tumbler Okay, now we need page eight. Here we are, and that goes in five. Seven. Here's page eight. And from here we need pieces that look similar. There's a lot of crosses on here. These are pieces 29 and 30. And these other pieces were 44, 45, and 46. Oh, shnikey. Two, three, four. Well, goodness. There's no way to tell them apart. Let's hope they're numbered somehow. Because they're identical except for that. Okay, one says that we want to take 46. Things are looking good for you, Maria. It's probably number two. In fact, it has a number two and it shows grease on it somewhere. It might be pointing to the face of it. It might be pointing to this edge. So we're going to put it on the edge and we're going to put it on the face because again, who cares in B D wax is everywhere. Great. Okay. So now this goes like this. Did you use backwards, Maria? I think I did this backwards. Okay, let's see. I have this piece like this. I did do it backwards. That's okay, it's very quickly fixed. Glad I found it at that point. This goes like that. I have a song in my head right now. It's Suame La Radio by Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. Just so you know. Wait, how can this be? So it shows it like this, and then I go like that. Maybe I didn't have it backwards. <laughs> okay, that I did. And I turn you this way. That's right. That's right, onto there. Then we want this piece that says two. See, there's wax on there. And you go on here like this. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Then it wants this piece. And this one says, oh. It kind of looks like, oh, that piece you just put on, also grease it on the other side. Why not tell me that to start with before I put it on here? It'll be so much easier. So all the pieces we're gonna grease on most of the sides. That's what Maria has decided. Now, this looks like it wants wax. I say grease. I keep saying grease, and what I mean is wax. So we're going to just look. We're just going to wax everything. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now you go on here like that with all your beautiful wax. Mm-hmm. Then I have the piece that says three. You know what I was thinking earlier that I wanted french fries and I never had them. I might make some. Okay, so we have this, both sides. Remember what we said about doing both sides? I do. And then it also shows it on maybe this long side. Okay. I'm making this thing here. I feel like this is the lock mechanism. If so, it's unfortunate that things happened. AKA, I managed to break, bend one of the things. There's so much candle wax in here. Okay, then four is this piece. It does show wax on all the sides, potentially. Maybe. I'll, I'll show you the picture so you can see why I'm like confused about, does this go on all the sides? Where, like where exactly does this wax need to go? Um, I put, I put it in a lot of places. So this goes like this. And then the last piece is this. I'm gonna do the back side of this piece because why not? And then it shows the top. I'm going to do this side too because I've been doing this side. Here we go. Here we also go where we have like wax all over the counter. By counter, I apparently mean table. So, here's the picture where I'm like, where am I putting the wax? I have done the thing. I have check marked. Now we need piece seven and piece eight. Here's eight. 
And then eight, we need this thing that looks like a fence style. It was piece 28. It looks like a fence. And then seven, we need this thing that kind of looks like a battery, which is 43. And these complex things here, 53, 54, 55, and 56. So we're gonna do these in order, Maria. That was 56. Now don't forget, I'm coming back to you. So that's 56, that's 55. Here's 54. And 53. 53 has a four. 53 has a four and 54 has a three. Oops, and I also need these two buttons, which are 51 on top and 52, no, well, you're coming out of here now, I guess, and 52 below. Okay, now one says we take 53, 54, then we take 51 and we put well we sand some portion of this now I suspect the side the portion we're sanding is the sides so it's smooth all the way around right because the front sides don't have the front sides are already flat. Okay, and then it shows us waxing this. We're gonna just gonna wax all the surfaces, okay? That's what we're doing. Because I can't tell what they want us to wax. And it should hurt nothing if I wax extra things. Okay, then this goes here. Wait, nope. So we said 53, 54 has a three on it. Then this piece, then 52, then 50. No, it was 55. This is 52. 52 gets the sanding treatment. Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite kind of frozen fries? My grandpa, I think it was him, who really liked the frozen fries that were called fast food fries and I really liked those for a time too but honestly I like all fries I've been going for more like a steak fry lately or maybe just like fry not fast food fry not steak fry just fry and I got crinkle ones, I think now, which are fine. And then this goes that way. And then we have 56. And then they want us to get a cocktail stick. And that acts as an axle through all of these. So 
we have on here 56. This doesn't fit. Let's wax this. Let's just use a candle for this. It, it, I feel like they would have told me if I wasn't supposed to use a lit candle. Okay. That's on there. Then we have this piece going vertically. Then we have this piece. They have numbers burned into them, cut into them, so it's one, two. Now this piece goes horizontally. Then we have the three. Then we have the four. Okay. That's one. Now they wanted this to be kind of in the middle. That's all right, we can move it to the middle. It kind of looks like I'm missing a thing in between. But I'm not. Come on, friends. Some of these pieces don't want to move. These pieces move. Let's do this. Yep. Okay, they're in the middle ish. It's good enough for me. Now Now they set in the style. Are these symmetrical? Kind of looks like it. And it looks like they sit. Okay. Get to put the space and then they sit the feet are gonna sit in that hole don't be like this go in the holes you're all set up all set up. Yep. Once again, the knee is proving the best hammer hammering surface. Oh God, I broke a thing. You gotta be careful with this. These break really easy. I just like, I Hulk smashed it. It's gonna be okay. It was this part right here. I smushed it a little. Push it back in place and everything's fine. Okay, so that's like that. Now it wants this piece. To go in here like this. We're using only our hands. We're not Hulk smashing. Although it was Hulk smash was just my hands. When I used the hammer, it was better. And then we need this piece 
to go in here like this. Oh, this wood split. I blame myself, but I wonder how much of this is my fault. Okay, so here's this piece here. This is really exciting. This looks like a thing with a capital T. That doesn't show a check mark, but that's all the pieces. Oh, now it wants me to cut off these parts. And it wants me to just use my knife for that, but I feel like something like More major is required. I just cut a little and then broke it off. I feel like that's sufficient. That was good. Okay, here we are. Now we need bigger pieces, five, seven, and eight. Let's do this in, no. Here's five, and from five we need the two biggest pieces, so. Sixty-nine. That's five. Then we have seven here, and from seven we need. Hmm. I don't know what these pieces are. They're like little. Oh, they're little guys in space suits. Out of here, a little guy in a spacesuit. Okay, and then next from piece eight, we need a lot. From piece eight, we need this. Well, that's good. Does this come out of here? Mm hmm. Setting aside that, then we need this fancy piss. Mm -hmm. And then we need, this is piece 36, or pieces 36. I hoping, I'm hoping that if I say them out loud to you, I'll remember, but I won't. Then we need these, there's a couple more 
fence styles. Or no, these are dumbbells. They look like fence styles, but they're dumbbells. So 33 and 34. Fence style dumbbell. We need this gear down here. And whoops, these other gears. And we like, do they really gears, Maria? Yeah. There's a lot going on now. Okay, so step one says this piece. And then we have our little animals. These are fish. The fish go in. Here. Oh no, the piece is stuck. Okay. Let me see a little. Okay, so we have this piece like this. The fish goes like this, tail first, mm -hmm. okay, and then this one, yep, okay, then we turn it this way. Now, where do you tell me to get to wax? Next, I take this piece and I think I wax in here. Hopefully that makes sense. Man, I just have a craving for some British crisps. Okay. Now, these... Well, I'm concerned. No, I'm not concerned. Am I? Is everything fine? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Okay. It just slides on there. It just kind of rests. Then we take one of our fence styles Number 33. Do we remember which 33 was? Nope. 33 had the longer ones. And it comes up through the feet. That makes sense. It's double thickness. I guess if I'm craving crisps and french fries, my body is like, girl, you need some potatoes. Mm -hmm. I better listen. Now it says I wax back here somewhere. Oh, wait, this piece is gone. 
this little donut hole come out of there. I don't know if it's trying to tell me to wax the donut hole. But bad news for them. I just used a, a candle. I can't fit a I can't fit like an unlit candle in there. My candle's too big. So I just used actual, I just stuck my finger in the candle wax, okay? That's what I did. So if we're gonna be in trouble, we're being in trouble together. I blame you. Come down here, why aren't you looking at me? Okay, that part is done. We're done through number four. And then, we turn it over. Is that right? That doesn't look right at all. That's a different piece. That's this piece. Now we go to this piece. Ooh, fancy, fancy. What do you want me to wax? You want me to wax the middle? Got you. It's waxed. There's so much candle wax in here. It's so perfect. <sighs> yep. Everything's good. It may be like here all over the place. I'm sure it's fine. Are you sure it's fine? I am sure it's fine. Now, Octum. Now we need the dumbbell. Come on. Oh yeah, that, oh that that was that was wood breaking. You heard it. It was wood splitting. I hammer it down. Perfect. Nothing ever happened. Oh, now we need more cocktail sticks. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, now these, I'm gonna wax them. Didn't say to, don't care. Okay, these go down. through these holes here. I don't know how far down they need to go.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're on there. One of these holes is looser. Okay. We got lots of wax. Putting it in the candle. Now we put these gears onto there. And it wants us to wax these. And it looks like it wants us to wax around the outside edges of these. To which I say, I hate you. Wow, this video is L-O-N-G long. So this will be the last step we do in our lives. And then we'll go make some potatoes because you have earned it. If you have watched up until this point, I don't even know what to say to you. I'm sorry, I thank you, have some potatoes. You've earned it. I recommend fries, but any form of potatoes is glorious. Okay, so what we're doing is we're waxing as best we can all these stinking little nubbins. Also, you know what? Let's do the thing that YouTubers do and we say, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more of these and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Look at me, I'm like a professional. Smash that notification bell. But for reals, what I would most like to see in the comments, if you would like to leave a comment, and I endorse that, is what's your favorite potato dish? Um, I have Freaking candle wax all over my quilt. It's not melted, so it'll be okay. What's your favorite? If you now, this is for me a tough question. What's my favorite potato dish? It might be French fries. I do like a French fry. I like many French fries. That's the problem. But then there's baked potatoes, and I like baked potatoes. But sometimes I feel like baked potatoes are really just a vehicle for butter. And there is nothing wrong with that. I really love mashed potatoes. I'll tell you what. Here's an unpopular opinion. You know what potato dish I don't love? Now, I'll eat it. It's a potato dish. I like potatoes. I don't love um, gratin. My mom likes gratin. She makes a good gratin. Potato gratin is good. But if you ask me to stack rank potato dishes, it's not pairing near the top. Ooh, you know what is good though? What will be closer to the top? Hasselback potatoes. Like those a lot. Potato skins. Love them. And then another question is, what do you put on your baked or jacket potato? I just put... Uh, butter and salt and maybe pepper because when I say I like potatoes that's the truth I like potatoes unadulterated potatoes they're just glorious to me but you know answer down below okay shake out this quilt get the candle wax on the floor instead girl okay now I need to put Guess what else gets wax? This glorious thing. Because we thought we may be done with wax. No, no. We're so close. I'm going to make fries. And I got a new kind of ketchup that I really like. It's got the name Kensington. I can't remember if it's Dr. Kensington or Mr. Kensington. 
Either way, it's good. It's a little spicy. I mean, not like, oh, wow, this is spicy. But, like, it has more kick than your usual ketchup. And um, I sometimes mix in some uh, Red Hot, you know, just to be saucy. So this looks like this just goes in the middle, hooked into these gears. And then this gear goes on the outside. Boom! Bam! That's all the pieces. What are the next pieces? Do I have to get more pieces from the board? There's no check mark yet, so I guess we're not done. Turning the page. Holy good night. It's getting it's getting wicked. I think there's more here. What do we have? We have page five and page eight. Eight. Eight wants this. Now nah, we ain't ready for this, son. We ain't ready for the next step. The next step is getting serious. Look at this. And then look at all these words. So I want to keep going. But I also want potatoes. So I think I stop for now. This video is like almost an hour long anyway. So what I do is stop for now, clean up the candle wax that you got all over my couch. And I don't know how it got on my couch. You are mysterious. And, um, oh, we will stop this for now and come back to it tomorrow. I like that we do this in the evenings together. It's nice. It's nice hanging out with you at the end of your day so you can tell me all about it. We're going to pack these pieces inside the box for now. Mm -hmm. And on top of the box. So they, don't get, so they don't get lost. And um, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out while we put together this mysterious puzzle box of mystery. Um, it's none of this. Uh, now, it's almost 11. I probably shouldn't make potatoes. I might do it anyway. <laughs>